what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you're gonna love it here so today i just wanted to let you guys tap into my at home self-care routine this was very much needed being that i had a super long work week and i even worked on my day off so i figured that i would take my monday which is my only day left off for the week and just um get into some self-care my hair was a mess my skin was a mess Everything was pretty much a mess and I just needed to like reset myself. So before I begin washing my hair, I'm gonna go in with this bamboo charcoal scalp scrub by Shea Moisture. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So it includes um, African black soap, bamboo charcoal, tea tree oil, and willow bark extract. And this is my first time ever using this stuff but um if you guys don't know like you need a scalp scrub or um like some sort of scalp detox every now and again to um promote hair growth because if you have a lot of um oils or things like that in your hair or on your scalp it kind of slows down your hair growth so it's good to do a scalp scrub every now and then to kind of like detoxify everything so I just went ahead and did that first um, because I did have like a low sleek ponytail in my head for like a week and um, I used a lot of gel for that ponytail. This product was amazing. It was way better than I was expecting and it left my head feeling like a breath mint. <laughs> Y'all, my scalp was so cold and just like breezy after I got done using this. It felt so, so good. I definitely recommend it. Like you could just feel that it was clean. It felt really good. So now I'm just gonna go in with the same uh, brand shampoo. This is a deep cleansing shampoo. As I said before, I had a lot of um, gel built up in my hair, so I knew that I needed a cleansing shampoo, and I normally use Design Essentials, but I accidentally left it at my salon suite, so I had to go and buy something else really quick. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with that one, and um, I don't know if the scalp scrub was still having my head feeling like really cold, or like if the products in conjunction had my head feeling really cold. Either way, y'all, my head was feeling good. Like, I love those shampoos in a scalp scrub combination. I just love it. I'm gonna use it forever. It felt really good. Like it was giving me spa vibes for sure. So I just really needed this because to be honest, for me to be a hairstylist, I have not been taking very good care of my hair. Um, it's really hard when you're always doing other people's hair. I also have a daughter, like I have seven nieces. So it's like, even when I'm not working, I'm working and I'm not gonna blame it on them y'all. I'm not gonna blame it on them. <laughs> but it's just hard to take care of your hair when you're so busy all the time so i just really needed to do this and i was supposed to also do a steam treatment but that didn't go as planned but i'm definitely trying to get my hair back where it was last year because lately it's been doing some really wonky stuff like my curls are looser and i have no idea why i haven't used heat in like forever my hair is just, it's just been doing weird stuff lately. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but I absolutely hate washing my hair in the shower. Like, it's torture for me. I hate the water running in my face. I hate stuff in my ears. Like, I absolutely hate washing my hair in the shower. This is strictly for video purposes. So for my conditioner, I'm just using, using, oh my gosh, I'm using the um carrot and mango shea moisture this is actually a kid's conditioner it's one that um i bought for my baby but i'm using it today because she don't run nothing and then i'm just looking at my hair because what's going on here i'm not understanding okay so 
So now for my shower routine, I'm going to go in with my Method Body Wash. It has cucumber, seaweed, and green tea. This is my absolute favorite body wash, y'all. It smells so good. I'm talking about your whole bathroom, room, hallways are going to smell like this body wash. It's so good. Um, then I'm going to go in with my Dove crushed almond and mango butter body scrub um i think i prefer these over the tree scrubs because it's a lot less abrasive like the exfoliating beads are a lot smaller and they just feel really good it smells really good and then here i have my olay body conditioner so this is good for those of you that may have dry skin you just put it on and rinse it off and get on at the shower. I'm going to put on my robe. And then we are going to start on this hair face of mine. Because as y'all can see, look, I got a pimple. Ooh, and look at my chest. Ooh. Oh my God. So it's that time of the month for me. And I don't think I ever noticed it before. But apparently I get acne around that time of the month. So, um, yeah. So here, uh, right here, I am putting Vaseline on my lashes because these babies need to come off. They are sparse. They are giving bird face. They are giving doodle head. They need to come off. They need to go. So I put Vaseline on them and I'm going to let that sit for a while. You guys will see when I get ready to take it off. For now, I'm going to go in with my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleaner. Um, initially, this product was not my favorite because, I mean, clearly it's not a foaming cleanser. But I was like, oh my god, I feel like it's not working because it's not foaming. Like, there's no studs. But I can honestly say that since I've been using it, I see a huge difference in my face. Um, and I can't really say that I get acne often. Um... I literally just have like pimples here and there but I do have dark spots on like my jawline on each side of my face I don't know why I have no idea where they come from but um, I definitely see improvement in those areas since I've started using this and I also had issues with like dry skin being around my nose all the time and I haven't had that issue either since I've started using this product so it definitely works um it has hyaluronic acid in it which helps with retaining moisture and um improving flexibility in your skin so like you know as far as collagen and all that kind of stuff so i'm just gonna keep massaging and rubbing that in until i see some kind of suds because if i don't see no suds it ain't working period <laughs> But no, this is more like a lotion consistency. So if you do try this product, just keep that in mind. Because the first time I used it, I was like, what is this? I think they sent me the wrong thing. But it definitely works, y'all. And these are the dark, the dark spots that I was referring to. I don't know why they're there. I, I'm, I'm working on getting rid of them, though. get to these brows um, I'm not gonna do too much to my brows they just need a little grooming so I am going to um, arch them I just got a new razor from the beauty supply store I'm just gonna arch them and tweeze them just to clean them up a little because they're giving dusty I mean but luckily my eyebrows are not as thick as they used to be like when I was in high school my eyebrows would get really really thick and it, it wasn't cute okay but yeah i'm just gonna clean these up with um my eyebrow archer i really wish i could wax them like i used to because it was just much quicker but this is fine too now i'm rinsing my face again and i'm going to prepare to put on my um brightening mask this is minimal glow turmeric face scrub you can either use it as just 
an exfoliating scrub you know scrub it off rinse it off go about your day or you can leave it on your face as a mask and um it will brighten your skin like the longer you leave it on so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this on with whatever kind of makeup brush this is y'all know i don't do makeup so i just pulled out a brush and started putting it on and yeah i'm gonna put this all around my face definitely focusing on those dark spots around my jawline and i'm gonna leave this on for about i believe i left it on for about 20 minutes at the most boom with you so now i'm running me a bath i know i just took a shower i know i know but now i'm running me a bath because i just told y'all like it's that time of the month for me and also i've been working out like i've been working out and so my body is in pain i'm in pain y'all so i'm going in with this urban hydration coconut oil salt soak with lemon extract this coconut oil um salt also has vitamins a e and coconut oil obviously i just said that um it's also gluten free it's vegan friendly and it restores your skin um even though it has lemon extract it didn't really smell like anything so i'm also putting some tea tree oil into my bath tea tree oil is also good for like if you have um body acne and i'm just gonna light my candle it says enjoy your life i got this candle from amazon moisturize i'm going to use the same brand urban hydration coconut oil body cream this one actually did have a scent it smelled like fruity pebbles it smelled so 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 good and i love the consistency of it like it didn't make me hot because lotion makes me hot y'all i don't know why it's really weird i hate putting on lotion when i get <laughs> out of the shower or out of the tub but this one wasn't like too thick all right, now it's time to rinse this mask off. And then we are going to proceed to removing the lashes. Well, as many as I can for that matter, because I didn't get all of them off in this video. But I did get all of them off that night. I guess the rest of them just weren't ready to come off yet. But they all did come off that night. So what you want to do is kind of like grab where you can feel the like the glue on the lashes and then you kind of like bend it with your fingers so it takes a while especially since i had on nails on this video it definitely took me a while to like actually try to grab that area and you just bend it and they literally like snap off it's so easy y'all I'm just going in with my final basics. We got some Dove deodorant. We got some of this here Loom deodorant. Um, Loom is very good for anything. So um, any area, other areas that you sweat besides your armpits, basically. Um, bio oil. I'm going to put some bio oil on the dark spots on my face. This has also been helping me fade those areas. Um, bio oil is also good for stretch marks. I've been using it on my face and I've also been using it on my chest. Um, I mean, you guys obviously see the bumps there. But yeah, guys, this concludes my at-home self-care video. There was so much more I wanted to do for you guys, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to see in the comments, and I will be seeing you guys next week.